So these are the sort of scenarios that are typical of uh, domestic fires that cause injuries and deaths. And so what kind of measures can we take to try to mitigate these hazards? Well, of course, the first method that we can use, which is the traditional one in, in the United Kingdom, is to have a high degree of compartmentation in your house. In this fire test here, for example, we've had a furniture fire in a closed room and an ordinary door between that and the hallway, and you can see the smoke staining around the edges of this door. And what's happening here is that the overpressure of the fire, uh, the upper layer, is forcing air and smoke out round the doorway and into the hallway, um, which means that we get a sufficient density of smoke in the hallway to trigger the typical smoke detector on the top of the upper landing, thereby giving warning to the occupants remote from the fire room and giving them plenty of time to escape past this door to the, the outside. Um, and that the sort of smoke concentrations that we get in the hallway and the composition of the smoke in this scenario would be benign enough to, ma to maintain an easy means of escape. And of course it would be even better if we had fire rated door in this situation which is typically used to, predict, to protect in three storey uh, situations. Of course the only downside of this of course, is it offers absolutely no protection to occupants of the room of origin. And as I said earlier about half or perhaps slightly more than half of fire injuries and deaths occur to people in the same room as the fire and the structural protection doesn't help them. So is there another way of doing this? Well of course the main other uh, method is to use some form of active suppression and of course um, domestic sprinkler systems and, and water mist systems are becoming increasingly popular which I'm very pleased to see because I've uh, found these to be extremely effective 